Welcome back to the Express Works. So we've already covered static middleware jade, now we're gonna work with the form. This is the traditional form that you might see and which looks something like this with a form HTML tag. The way we process those forms, uh, we use app.post because that will be a post request, incoming post request. And then uh, I'm just skipping all the description. What we need to remember, we need to install this module body parser because that's what will enable Express.js to process the incoming data as a normal JavaScript object instead of uh, having it as a URL encoded string. Okay, so now we'll go to the editor and uh, start working on this exercise. In the editor, I'm creating a new file, 4-form.js. As always, we import the dependencies, such as Express itself. Then we import the body parser, which is our middleware. It comes from body-parser module. That's the NPM name. And then we create the Express.js app and we apply the body parser middleware. The way we do it, we use .url encoded. And then we also pass extended.false, basically means extended and non-extended means process complex queries or not complex object nested objects. And then inside of our request handler in the slash forms, which is a post, not get, that's important we magically get this object reg.body and everything that client sends to us will be in that object, will be a string. And then if you read the problem carefully, we need to reverse the string, which I'm using split, reverse, and then join. Those are string and array methods. So split will create an array, reverse will reverse the array and join will create a string again. And then I'm uh, starting this server on uh, either argv2, which is the first argument. The workshop will provide the value to us and or I would start it on 3000. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, try it. So remember I still also use, we need to install body parser. So this is a good time to do it. Again, I'm saving the version. And uh, ideally you would have separate folders for separate projects, but right now I'm just dumping everything into one uh, common folder, all the solutions. Okay, so now we can actually run our file. And it works, which is wonderful. Now let's verify it. And it passes. And if we compare it to the official solution, everything is exactly the same, except that we don't need this uh, 3000 fallback. 3000 is convenient if you want to have uh, the port number for yourself and don't want to provide that manually. So, and I can demonstrate it to you. So what we do, we just start the server, as we usually do. To test the server, I'm using something called Postman. You can get it as a free application. This has a nice GUI compared to using curl in a command line. So I have form data and have some uh, W form encoded. So I'm sending it. And this is my response, yai, which is exactly the same just because it's a um, reverse string. So now it actually works. Get rid of the form data. So if we try to submit the form data, it's not working because we're actually accepting in the form URL encoded format. And now it works. We send boo and we get OOB.